I don't know what this handle does, but I really, I really want to pull it so bad to see what happens. I found this kind of interesting. I was walking by the pond here on campus. Down on the bottom of this pond, it looks like it's about a meter down, there's some kind of structure. But you can see, maybe you can see, I can't tell from this little monitor on the camera, but maybe you can see that on the surface of the ice, you can see the pattern of the structure that's on the bottom of the pond. It's like the ice formed differently directly over that structure. Well, this is called uh, Suwon Song Kamni Kyoe. Suwon is the name of the city. Song means holy, usually. Gamni, Gamni Kyoe, Methodist Church. And how do they get Methodist out of Gamni? Gamni means uh, supervising, supervisory. So, and Kyoe means church. Kyoe literally means religious assembly. <clears throat> but the two sounds together mean church. So, supervisor church. That means Methodist. Uh, because uh, the Methodist church, they have bishops, but I think most of the, uh, the uh, mundane worldly affairs are conducted uh, at the supervisory level, not the conference level. Uh, I, I, it's been a long time since I've been a Methodist. I can't remember exactly how a conference... A conference is like a diocese, but they're subdivided and supervisors are in charge of each subdivision. And so uh, that's why it, here in Korea it's called the Supervisor Church, the Gamni Kyoe. It's a big church. It's not the most, uh, Methodism is not the most popular Christianity here. Presbyterians are the big Christians here. They are very conservative, very numerous, very powerful. But they're number one as far as Christians go here. They're not like the Presbyterians back in America. If When I say Presbyterian, people get, oh, I know. And uh, no, you don't know. <laughs> they're different. Very different here. Alright, um, I'm looking for a cache. There's only one here. So I, I just hopped on the train just to get out of the house. Got off here at um, Hwaso Station. There's one cache somewhere around here. So I'm going to ask this lady over here where it might be. Um, miss? Uh, excuse me. Miss, could, could, could I ask you something? Uh, oh, very quiet. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe this. Oh, oh no! I, I, he's too angry to talk to me. Oh, he's too shy to talk to me. Let me ask this guy. Uh, sir, sir, excuse me, sir, 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 sir. Would you look at me, please? Well, I, I asked a few locals. I tried to get them to talk to me. I guess I'm on my own. Alright, let's get going here. Well, the cache was up that way, about <clears throat> 80 meters from here. This uh, is a very interesting place here. Uh, there are house sites uh, dating from the Bronze Age. They found a lot of pottery here uh, in the period before the Three Kingdoms. Pretty interesting. It's old. Um, they found uh, um, an L-shaped brazier. And they said it was uh, probably the origins of the Korean floor heating system. A lot of pottery. They grew rice here. Interesting. 
The Three Kingdoms period was about a thousand years ago here on the Korean Peninsula. There were three major kingdoms. There were a couple others, I think, small ones, but three major kingdoms. And uh, this was before then. So, uh, it's a long time ago. I don't know how much before then, maybe a thousand years before that. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't say. But people have lived on the Korean Peninsula, they say, for at least 5,000 years. Which kind of knocks a hole into the uh, biblical literalists who say that the earth is uh, 6,000 years old. Even when I was a Christian, I couldn't accept, I couldn't accept that literal Genesis story. It just, it just didn't make sense. I believed, I, I believed in the Bible. I believed in God. I was, a, I considered myself a good Christian. Different kind of Christian than you find in the uh, Patriot Church of America these days, but uh, I was still a Christian but I didn't believe Genesis literally. Uh, I didn't believe that the world was 6,000 years old. I didn't believe that Noah and the flood. Of course, when I was a child, I didn't know better. But as you get older, you learn things. And, uh, but it, it did not shake my faith. Honestly, it did not. When, when I realized that Genesis was not literally true, it didn't shake my faith at all at the time. So, I, I just don't understand this, this hysterical need to make Genesis literally factual. I, do, I, just, I have never understood that, even when I was an evangelical Christian. Maybe some of my evangelical friends were literalists, but not all of them were. I can tell you that. There are a lot of evangelicals who are good Bible, um, biblical Christians who do not accept Genesis as literally true. So, if your faith rests on the Bible being literally true, your faith is misplaced. Um, I'm not a believer, but I do know one thing. You cannot base your faith on a man-made book. That's my two cents. Take it for what it's worth, eh? Alright everybody, that was my my grand geocaching adventure today. One tiny little micro in the skirt of a street lamp. Thanks for watching.